I hope this uh, works right now. Um, as I've mentioned before, dear friends, I do love my wine. My liver is quite fine. Um, well, firstly, th and firstly, this is going to be really shortly, but I, I bring my beard in. I sort of, I sort of kind of shaved it myself because you can't get anyone, even if you got a shotgun, for um, uh, threatening to blow them away eh, to do that. So um, I've done. It's really, it's really, really looking good. So, um, the thing I want to, um, it's going to sound strange, but, you know, this refers to Mr. Nut. You may remember him way back when. So, um, I have to thank him. I really do have to thank him. Definitely one, one time, and in part another. Uh, the, the part that I uh, appreciate him the most is um, when he attended uh, my father's cemetery. Uh, when he was uh, being laid into his uh, grave. Um, I didn't, I don't think at that time I was aware of him being there, um, but it probably would mean he was sick that day at, at work and he, um, he came and in the distance uh, saw us. Uh, see, on one hand, that is admirable. Um, could be an absolutely wonderful thing to do. Um, just simply nice thing to do. That's really the one time. But there's a, a half Thank you, and that's um, when he, um, this is when I had the hemorrhage and was in, uh, sort of imprisoned in St. Michael's for um, 26 days. Um, he would come um, quite often to the hospital. And I thank him for, for doing that, but I did, honest to God, I didn't want anyone there. Uh, not anyone. Uh, most, my own limited number of relatives thought I would uh, remain that way. And um, uh, it was really tough to take. So I thank him, I truly thank him for showing up in an invisible uh, at my father's funeral. And um, with regret, I have to thank you for showing up at the hospital. Thereafter, however, it was very different. There's a part of you that is quite fine and another part of you that you are not. That's just the thing I wanted to say because I forgot to say it before. So thank you for listening to me.